I'm still working on this little book. You've been seeing this for such a long time, but I tend not to put a time limit on these because I like them to evolve as and when I get an idea for a page. And this page has been in here for a long, a while, a long time. And the bottom was a bit bare. It didn't necessarily bother me, but as I was flicking through it yesterday, I thought I'd like to add something there. Now, <clears throat> I could have added those at the lower edge, but there's loads going on at the lower edge. If you look at this here, and I didn't want it all to get to a point where it was just gonna get all tangled up. So I thought if I just randomly dangle little sequins along that bit there, then that'll give something nice to, to make it flow at the lower edge. So I'm just gonna put a couple in um, on camera. I'm not gonna really explain the process. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, I'm just going to put them in, says she. It should be seamless, but something will go wrong, you can bet your life. So really, I'm saying random ones, but I will kind of uh, control it a little bit. I don't want them all to be the same length. That one's gone back on itself there. So I'm not really going to say a lot about what I'm doing and why, because that's kind of uh, exclusive to my artist book class. But there's no harm in just letting you watch me put a little of these on a little, a few of these, oh I can't speak today, <clears throat> I wonder if having a cold does that to you, or is it just because I can't speak, I might have that one a bit longer, let's see, and I'll never underestimate the amount of fiddle that goes on with this either, it's fiddle central, I've got a degree in fiddly, certain point I'm going to tie this thing down as well because it's in the way. So I'll just do one more just to let you see. If I wasn't doing this on camera it wouldn't take me this long. Um, I always do everything slower on camera for some reason. Good job I don't live my life on camera I'd never get anything done. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes I think I do live my life on camera. So, not really. A massive expanse still to cover here. Yeah, I like it. I'm happy with that. I'll do one more before I turn off. Just a little visual for you today instead because sometimes images aren't enough. Um, just trying to pick one of these up. Sometimes images aren't enough, and sometimes they don't have anything substantial in terms of image to show you. So it helps me to do this to keep the interest going. Um, Now there, I don't think they'll get tangled up in the same way as they would if they were at the bottom. So I'll just do that for now. Um, then I'll show you how it's progressing a lot. And I do still have quite a few pages to fill in this. Um, but if you can see what I mean about the bottom, if I'd have done them hanging out at the bottom, then it would have been very likely that they would have all got tangled up. So it's never going to sit properly. There's some here at the bottom as well. It's never going to sit properly open, but I like that about it. 
I like the fact that it's going to be um, sculptural. So I've got this page to fill, I've got pages there to fill. They're okay. They're okay. Let us remember that one from last week, perhaps. So what's this one? So, and then that will be fastened down there. So that's that one. Um, that one, and then this one. So, but I like the fact that it's going to live like that. You know, it's going to sit open like that. That's what I want for it, and I'm going to hopefully get it on a glass shelf. Um, get it on a glass shelf. Okay, so now I need to finish that and um, before I take photographs for today.